Welcome back to another episode of Barbecue and Bottles. I'm super pumped about today's episode because we're going to be making smash burgers. Two patties, cheese, bacon. This is going to be incredible. Now we've partnered up with Cuisinart for this video and we're going to be uh, grilling these smash burgers on their 360 griddle cooking center. So we've got that set up in the backyard. So we're going to prep these burgers. They're going to be perfect if you're throwing a Super Bowl party and you need something to feed the boys, keep them hungry during the game. So let's get at it. So I just wanted to talk a little bit about what it means for Cuisinart to be sponsoring this episode. They're allowing us to make a significant contribution to the Princess Margaret Cancer Research Foundation. The Princess Margaret is one of North America's leading cancer research institutes, and their donation is going toward helping diagnose cancer earlier, more accurately, and develop customized treatment programs for patients. So this program is a program that's really important to us. It's really important to Cuisinart corporately. I'm not sure if you've seen their pink appliances uh, that, that came out last year to support the cause. And just by you watching this video, whether you're sharing it on another platform, is helping as well. If you wanna share this on social media, spread the word. We'll have a link below to the Princess Margaret Cancer Research Foundation if you wanna make a financial contribution. Obviously, no need to do that, but it just, again, watching this video, sharing it on other social media platforms is help enough. So thanks very much. So what you're gonna to need to start with is 80-20 ground chuck. And one of the secrets to a great smash burger is fat. Fat's flavor, we've talked about that a lot on this channel. So make sure you're, you're not using lean or extra lean ground beef. And we've got about a pound of beef in each of these uh, containers here. And we're gonna be making four burgers, double patties. So what we're gonna do is just break each of these into half and then half again and now you're going to want to lightly pack them into little meatballs and the secret here don't overwork the meat you want to touch this as little as you can while still getting them into that meatball format we're then going to smash these on the griddle outside all right now we've got our eight quarter pound meatballs all ready to go. We're not gonna season them at this stage. We'll season them once we smash them on the grill outside. So these are gonna grill up really quickly. So what we're gonna wanna do before we head outside is chop up our toppings, prep our toppings, and of course, we've got a special sauce that we're gonna put on these smash burgers. So we'll prep all of that beforehand. It's only gonna take two, two and a half minutes to sear these burgers once we get them out on the grill. So the secret sauce for any good smash burger always starts with mayonnaise. So we're gonna go in equal parts mayonnaise, ketchup, mustard, and then we're gonna add some Cuisinart seasoning. Here we've got roasted chipotle garlic. This is one of their seasonings that got a whole lineup, but I think this is gonna be absolutely incredible when we mix it in with this mayo-based sauce. So let's give two, three generous scoops of mayo. And again, we're aiming for equal parts ketchup, equal parts mustard. And now to add in a bit of the seasoning. Perfect. Now whip this all up. Mm, that's gonna be magic. Now let's prep our toppings. So we're just going with traditional toppings here, lettuce, tomato, onion, pickle. Great, we'll get those washed up here in a bit. Now the onion, just a few onion slices. Now you're just gonna pop out the rings. We don't need the outer ring, the skin's on that one. We're just gonna use these rings for the toppings themselves. Now you wanna cut your tomato slices nice and thin so that they're not propping up all the other toppings on your burger. So you wanna be going in for a cut about that thick. Now for pickles, Chop them this way, don't go lengthwise. So we're outside with the grill here and we've got this top, you pull that off and you've got a 22 inch griddle surface here. This is like just having a giant cast iron pan in your backyard. I'm so excited to be cooking on this thing. We're gonna have a ton of recipe videos coming up. 
let me just show you a couple extra features here. You'll see this thing uh, is powered just by a regular propane tank down at the bottom. But they've also been really thoughtful about some of the accessories. They've got a little side prep table here that folds in and out. They've got a towel rack down below, so you can put some paper towel there when you need that for cleaning up grease or what have you. So they've really been thoughtful on the construction. And they also have two burners, as you can see here. So there's two different heating zones on this. So if you want something going a little bit lower, something a little bit hotter, you know, you've got that capability on the grill here. This just lifts off, to get access to the two burners below. And there's a self-ignite feature here. Fire up the burners just like that. So the first thing we got to do with this griddle is season it. First, we've just uh, cleaned this with soap water, a little scouring pan, just to you know, get it perfectly clean. And now we're going to put some extra virgin olive oil on here. Now I'll just rub that around with paper towel so we get a nice thin layer of oil across the entire surface of this griddle. There, just like that. Now we've got both burners set on high. We're gonna leave this for about 20 minutes. The heat is just gonna take this past the smoking point of the olive oil. We'll do that three times in total, and then this will be seasoned and ready for the smash burgers. So you'll see we finished seasoning this. It's gone more of like a dark black color, just like a cast iron pan. So we're gonna hook the lid over here, and the first step in our burger is gonna be just frying up some bacon. So we don't need to put down any oil for this. Perfect. So you'll see we had no problem getting a full package of bacon on this surface. And as it drips down here, no worries. You've got a, a non-stick drip tray that's gonna channel all of the grease to the back. And there's a really big oversized grease container in the back that will catch all that. So it's actually really easy from a cleanup perspective. The grill comes with these two bad boys. So now let's just manage the bacon. So now we're just gonna use the paper, paper towel holder here just to prep this board for the bacon. Just gonna wanna put a bacon on this to ensure that the grease gets soaked up. Got an incredibly crispy bacon here. So this is gonna be awesome on our smash burgers. We're just gonna scrape the surface to clean this from the bacon. And we're gonna be pushing the grease to the grease trap in the back. Perfect, just like that. Now, time to prep the buns. For the buns, we've got a really nice brioche bun here. And what we're gonna to wanna to do is just put a thick layer of butter on each side. Get that down. These aren't gonna take very long to uh, toast up here, so keep an eye on them. And you'll notice we're using a garlic chive uh, compound butter that we normally use here on this channel. It's gonna add some awesome flavor to these buns. All right, let's check these ones that we put on first. Coming along nicely. Always wanna make sure we're not burning these. Give those a few more seconds. We'll be right back. So we're just looking for a slight toast here. Look at that. That's what we're looking for. So we'll pop these buns off the grill. And then we'll be back with the burgers. So what we're gonna to wanna to do for the smash burgers is first put down a little bit of oil on the grill. We're just using an avocado oil. Use your spatula to work this around. Now we're gonna pick up one of these burgers, put it on there, and smash it. This is really gonna to act to caramelize and create an incredible crust on the bottom of the burger. And that's gonna seal in the juices. The 80-20 chuck, you're gonna get the fat rendering down. It's gonna be in your burger. It's just gonna be an explosion of juices and beefiness when you taste it. So when you start to see some of the juices bubbling up from the top of the burger like this, you know it's ready to flip. You can look around the side, you'll start to see some nice crust forming on some of these edges. So 
the way to flip these burgers, you'd naturally think you'd want to come in like this with a flipper, but you don't want to do that. You want to flip your spatula the other way around, come in, and then flip it. And look at that crust. Just incredible. Now we're going to add our cheese here. We're going in with cheddar. Some people argue that you just go in with regular American cheese. I'm a cheddar fan, so that's what we're doing. Now we're gonna put the lid on here for this second side because we want the cheese to really steam and melt, get all nice and gooey around our burgers. So let's take this lid off and see how that cheese is melting. Oh, this is incredible. I mean, just look at that. The cheese, it's melted into all the crevices and the cracks of the burgers. These, these babies are ready to come off. Now let's get these inside and start building our burgers. Now, the way we clean this is really easy. Scrape off the grease. Get a little bit of extra water here, add that on. This will get off anything that's really stuck to the surface. Now we'll just give it a quick wipe with paper towel. Then we're just gonna put a little bit of avocado oil on here. Avocado oil is a neutral oil, very high smoke point. We're just gonna rub that on. And there we're finished. Now we're just gonna turn off the burners and the residual heat in here. We'll just wick away any remaining moisture and that coating of oil will prevent this from rusting. You treat it pretty much just like you would a cast iron pan. All right, now we got these burgers inside and Boy, do they smell incredible. Now we're just gonna do a little bit of burger assembly. First step, we're gonna put some of this sauce that we created at the start on the top and on the bottom of the bun. Get lots of that flavor, some of that incredible seasoning from Cuisinart here too. And then we're gonna put down a little bit of lettuce, just like that. And then we're gonna go in with our first burger patty and our second burger patty. All right, now the rest of the toppings go on top. So I'll take some tomato, just like that. Some onion, pickles, and of course, some crispy bacon. Now, this is gonna be incredible. I usually use one of these kind of toothpick skewers, helps it keep it all together. Just look at that. So now the ultimate test. Let's cut into this guy. Now just look at that burger. Add this to your backyard Super Bowl party and your boys will be really pleased with you. Now I can't wait to dig in here. I'm gonna try and bite into one of these and do a taste test. Mmm incredibly juicy you'll see when i bit all the juices started flowing this is just incredible you can taste the garlic butter on the bun that brioche bun super sweet all the toppings pickles onion tomato the american cheese and really that sauce that's that smoked chipotle garlic sauce that we got incorporated into it. it's just incredible here mm. i wish i could send one of these to all of you just to do a taste test so if you like this video give it a like below smash that subscribe button and thanks for tuning in